especially Ken and his family, in this somewhat poignant day. Ken's dad, who I used to know as RJB, and then later on as Jimmy, as you know him as the longest serving member in the club's history. Been involved for many years in all aspects of the club life and its growth in its formative years. I remember in the early 60s a scene not dissimilar to the opening sequence of the TV program Ultimate Force, where Ross Kemp, East Enders fame, was an SAS officer. Four men in a line striding across black shots to watch Static play. <laughs> Di Morgan in his die cap and beige trench coat. <laughs> Sid Jones when he wasn't destroying the opposition with his refereeing. <laughs> and in the middle, two smaller but powerful characters, Jimmy and Sam David. These being the power behind the club. Jimmy himself welcomed new players with, if you want to play, you'll need a shirt. 17 and 6, please. Yes. <laughs> Pay by instalments if needed. And off he'd go down to West's, West's the Tailors and Greys, yeah. to buy the necessary. He never missed the opportunity to, rec to recruit new players. And while working in the stores at Shell, Sid Jones was in, in accounts, he saw Roy Kent, now probably the longest serving member. You look like a rugby player, Roy. Why don't you join our club? Okay, said Roy, but I've no books. Up comes Sid. Try these spare ones of mine. Roy says they fitted him like a glove. And the rest is history. Many of us remember his bottles of wine, or bottles of homemade wine, he would distribute at 3p lunches. Also his excitement of his trips to Australia in our winter, his amazing garden and his love of golf. Sometimes it, even in latter years, he would play two rounds of golf in a day. And I think it must have been he was drinking a lot of his own milk wine. <laughs> <laughs> but I always think about the jewel in the crown. About our amazing youth mini section. What I think of Jim. Phil remember that after acquiring our first clubhouse, Jim started a Colts commute site. They played at William Edwards. Jimmy taking sandwiches and squash for after the match. He forbade any under 18s to go back to the clubhouse and wore betide anyone that did and got caught. Somewhat different from today, I think. However, this was the start of youth rugby. The seed was sown and we owe him a debt of gratitude for his foresight. Many individuals after this took up the challenge and built the section up to the formidable force it is today. I think some of Jimmy's coats are even here today. Could I in conclude and say, may I ask you all to be upstanding and drink a host to the memory of Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones.